On the Illumined wrote, Worldwide Economic Collapse by Design by Richard, a stonemason, not a freemason. There are a number of objectives to this planned agenda and an agenda that began implementation at the beginning of 2020 with the worldwide medical crisis. What did that achieve? So that was a comment made on this article in the Somerset County Gazette, which is my local rag. Uh, the article published on the uh, 29th of September 2022 is Rebecca Poe's reaction to Quarteng's shambolic mini budget. So this is Rebecca Poe on the left. This is that Quartengi guy. I think he's Chancellor of the Exchequer. And below here is uh, Councillor Frederica Smith Roberts of the Liberal Democrats, our local council leader. The Liberal Democrats, they're all in the same boat. This article was by Phil Hill, I think he's the lead, or well, he's the chief reporter of the Gazette. And I'll read as much as I dare here. Taunton's Conservative MP Rebecca Poe says she is passing on constituents' concerns about rising bills as local Lib Dems call on her to oppose the government's shambolic mini-budget. Councillor Frederica Smith-Roberts, Lib Dem leader of Somerset West and Taunton Council, is urging Miss Poe to oppose Ca Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng's tax cuts aimed at rebooting the UK's economy and people's finances. The call follows the government's intervention, which resulted in sterling plummeting to a record low against the dollar, leading to rising food and petrol prices and spiking mortgage interest rates. The Lib Dems are demanding Parliament be recalled so that urgent action can be taken to address the unfolding disaster. So the government are, uh, I guess, they're on um, holiday at the moment, despite the impending doom and gloom of the economy. What better time to take um, take a break? They were also calling for a tougher windfall tax on oil and gas giants to help people and businesses with their bills, as well as a winter NHS rescue plan. Uh, the NHS being the National Health Service, which is a disgrace has been throughout the old um, illness. Among Mr Quarteng's announcements were the basic rate of income tax would drop from 20% to 19% a year earlier than planned, while the higher 45p rate for people earning more than £150,000 will be scrapped. Hmm, that makes sense if you're aiming to Increase the wealth of the wealthy. A cap on bankers' bonuses is being abolished. Mm, that's great. If you're hoping to increase the wealth of the bankers. A planned increase in corporation tax will not go ahead. Mm. Stamp duty will be charged on homes sold for £250,000 or more, double the previous limit. The changes will be financed by borrowing billions of pounds. And that's the way the government do things. Where do they borrow it from? That's my question. Councillor Frederica Smith-Roberts said, The Chancellor's out-of-touch and shambolic budget has failed to provide solutions to the problems many of us are facing. Our local health services have been neglected to, the li to line the pockets of city bankers at a time when people in the Somerset West and Taunton area um, and up and down and across the country and the world are worried about getting through the winter. People I've spoken to in our area feel abandoned by the government and left with still unmanageable bills to pay. And the thing about the Liberal Democrats is they do go out and interact with the public. Unlike Mrs. Poe, 
or NISPO. Our research has shown that the average family will pay almost £300 more in tax next year, despite the 1p cut to the basic rate. Rebecca Poe should listen to the concerns from our community, vote down the shambolic budget and back Lib Dem calls to support local homes and businesses instead. Yeah, and she won't, Rebecca Poe will not. It's party line and that's it. Ms Poe said, I fully understand constituents' anxieties regarding rising bills and have been engaging regularly to feed in these concerns in Westminster over the last months and will of course continue to do so. Hmm. Recognising the record high energy prices over the past year, the government is introducing the Energy Profits Levy, a new 25% surcharge on the extraordinary profits the oil and gas sector is making, which undoubtedly the energy companies will pass on to their customers. Undoubtedly. This is an additional tax on top of the existing 40% headline rate of tax they pay, taking the combined rate of tax on profits to 65%. This will raise around 5 billion over the next year, which will go towards supporting people with the new cost of living measures announced by the Chancellor. In addition to the energy price guarantee, which will save the average household £1,000 and cap energy costs to businesses, the Chancellor also re recently announced new measures to reduce taxes on households and businesses with a view to boosting economic growth. There's a focus on a range of infrastructure projects across the UK, and I'm pleased to say this includes the A358 from Taunton to Southfields, which I have long campaigned for. Well, there is a focus on a range of infrastructure projects, does not address the financial crisis. But um, what Miss Poe does like to do is highlight her endeavours, even though this one is pretty much nothing to do with the energy crisis. In fact, this is about spending money on stuff that isn't anything to do with the energy crisis and people's inability to pay escalating fuel bills and food bills so i don't know why she stuck that in or i do know why she stuck that in furthermore the previously proposed national insurance rise will now be reversed from november the 6th resulting in 28 million households getting a tax cut worth an average of 330 pounds per year income tax is being cut to 19%, which will on average ben benefit 31 million people by £170 per year. £173 a week. <laughs> £3 a week, thank you very much. That was very, very generous of you. Corporation tax will be held at 19% instead of rising to 25%. And stamp duty is also being reformed with the standard buyer in England saving around £2,500. Corporation tax will be held at 19% instead of rising to 25%. Well, I don't claim to understand things like corporation tax, etc. But uh, that doesn't sound very good. On November 23rd, the Chancellor will set out his fiscal plan in which he will outline further details on the government's fiscal rules, including ensuring that debt falls as a share of GDP in the medium term. This will also be accompanied by a full forecast from the, from the Office for Budget Responsibility. Let's have a look at the comments. What Tyler? Surely Liz Truss and Karsi Kwateng can't stay in their jobs. They weren't elected by anyone apart from a few thousand Tory OAPs and they are carelessly th trashing the country. Utter shambles. Who funds the murky think tanks behind Liz Trust? Tissues for men in reply to What Tyler? Robert and Rebecca Mercer. Hmm. I don't understand that one.
I might look into that. In reply to what, Tyler? Beastly Boris. Surely this trust in Karzi Kwateng can't stay in their jobs. They weren't elected by anyone apart from a few thousand Tory OAPs and they are carelessly trashing the country. Utter shambles. Who funds the murky think tanks behind this trust? The murky think tanks guiding trust on mic insanity and indeed the Leave campaigns are no doubt covertly funded or heavily influenced by powerful forces intent on causing damage or destruction of the United Kingdom. It is war by other methods. They must find it hilarious in Russia and China. Now, what Tyler? Thank you. An ally in truth. No doubt covertly funded or heavily influenced by the powerful forces. Powerful forces. Remember that intent on causing damage and destruction of the united kingdom powerful forces yeah boom they must fight this is a response i think in reply to bc boris ah 100 they must find it hilarious in russia and china whoever they are they it's they it's not it's not us it's they I suggest they may have more pressing concerns in their own countries. Your feeble parroting of Russian propaganda is certainly hilarious, though. Yeah, well, not everybody sees the world as it is. Man in a fruitcake. Coming soon. Negative equity. Yep, no doubt. Well, it's already here, isn't it? If you're in debt. Alex Maguire. Government having to be propped up by the Bank of England while Truss and Kamikaze Kwateng do their best to hide, Rebecca rolls out the government lines as per usual. That's Rebecca Poe. Wonder what she said during the pumping of sewage into the oceans. Good luck trying to get replies from her. She's as absent as them unless there is a photo op. Get out, join any protest you see. And let's put an end to the 12 years of Tory minis minis misery. Now, I'll give him a like for that. But um, I don't think most people believe that the whole system is corrupt. That no matter which political party is in power. The Liberal Democrats have no chance of getting in power. So the Conservatives and Labour, they're both towing the same line. Larry the Cat, even though Miss Poe was ready for Rishi and didn't get another minor ministerial, ministerial post as a result, now Rishi was the other contender for the Prime Minister's role and he lost, um, and Miss Poe actually backed Rishi. If anyone thinks she will vote against Kamikaze Kwarteng's fiscal event, they are being over-optimistic. Miss Poe has always put party before her constituents. Another two years and we can get rid of her and the ERG, donor-controlled current government, whose fiscal event demonstrated they are looking after their rich donors. Exactly that. However, 2024 is the next general election, I believe, and I don't think there's going to be a general election in 2024. Personally, I think by the end of 2023, freedoms will be a thing of the past and the illumined I like this one worldwide economic collapse by design by Richard a stonemason not a Freemason there are a number of objectives to this planned agenda and an agenda that began implementation at the beginning of 2020 with the worldwide medical crisis what did it achieve while major service outlets such as the large supermarkets, Tesco, Asda, Lidl, etc. and fast food outlets such as McDonald's, KFC, Domino's Pizza, et al. remained open to the public for business, the independent and small businesses were forced to shut up shop, resulting in many of these businesses being closed for good. And that's not good. Due to financial constrictions. The obvious outcome was a reduction in outlets 
with a more centralised and monopolised provider of services. The World Economic Forum, WEF, has a plan, and that plan is called the Great Reset. The mantra of this reset is, you'll own nothing and be happy. The WEF has another plan. It's known as the Digital Wallet, a stepping stone to a China-style social credit scoring system. I kid you not. The objective of the digital wallet is to make all financial transactions trackable, traceable and accountable. All well and good, you may, might say. However, gone will be the days of sending your grandchildren a birthday card with a tenor slipped inside. That transaction will have to be done digitally. And what are the chances of your grandchild being deducted an income tax on that gift, knowing what you know about the government? and how little they really care for our welfare and well-being. Furthermore, all transactions will be monitored and evaluated. If you have bad or unhealthy spending habits, your social credit score will suffer and restrictions put on your freedoms. I won't bore you with the gory details. I'll simply urge you to visit the WEF website and have a little poke around. And please use your discernment to understand where all this is leading. Now, let's take a look at the new Prime Minister, Liz Truss. Liz Truss is, or was, a World Economic Forum young global leader. Need I say more? King Charles is also at the forefront of the WEEF's Sustainable Development and Climate Crisis Agenda. There's a verse from the Holy Bible, Ephesians 6, 12, that reads, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, spiritual wickedness in high places. All the high places of governance and authority worldwide are now ruled by those that look down upon you as mere subjects of little or no importance. Henry Kissinger once called you useless eaters. There's another verse from the Holy Bible, Revelation 13, 16 to 18, that reads, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. No man or woman might buy or sell. If you don't have a digital wallet, you can neither buy or sell. So, for you doubters that whine, what's the mark in the right hand or in the forehead? Or, it's all from a fairy tale. Well, in speculation, I would hazard the guess, if forced to, that the RFID chip that's in common and increasing use across the world today, and injected into the hand, by the way, could possibly be on track to be a part of what is commonly known as the beast system. And if you unfortunately, for some reason, have no hands, then there's your forehead. The chip needs to be accessible for scanning. Facial recognition really is a thing. If you still doubt in-body technology as a monitoring weapon, I urge you to research Uval Noah Harari and watch some of his interviews on the matter. And just for the record, Uval Noah Harari is a prime advisor to Klaus Schwab, leader of the World Economic Forum. So, if you trust your government, go right ahead and do as they say, not as they do, party gate. If you trust your main source of news, the BBC, go right ahead and believe what they say. Always bear in mind Jimmy S. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. 
I rest my case. I look forward to any um, responses to that, including whether or not my comment gets deleted. I'll leave a link to this. Yeah.